Holla at your boy, holla at your raw boy. Back at it again, just to be back at it again. Like, comment, subscribe, but let's get into this video. I'm about to do a, a custom on a, a wrestling shoe. I've um, been sh slacking on the videos. I'm gonna get right into this one. Holla at your boy and follow along. I'm just gonna go through a few steps uh, in the process and we'll just get into it, all right? Holla at your boy. All right, first things first, like um, when you're starting your your customs, you want to take all the laces out. So as you can see, I already took all the laces out of this one, all right? And then, well, this is how I do it. I take all the laces out um, and I I take anything that's on the inside of the shoe. Sometimes I stuff the uh, inside of the shoe with a uh, newspaper or something so it doesn't bleed on the inside on um, different things. So, and um, yeah, next I just, um, I put acetone on all of the shoe to get off any um, type of um, repellent or shoe saving thing so I can get down to the bare the bare material of the um, of the shoe. All right, you following along? Good. Thumbs up. Next, you decide what design you want to do. You usually want to talk it over with them. Um, they wanted a couple designs. I guess a design per shoe. But this way, you can, you can have it in text. You want to have some um, not just written down, but I like to have it in text so I know exactly what you said. I could go back and look at it a few times. And also give yourself extra time to um, do these designs. Um, you want this so that something like this. And you also want a pie pile. I'll click those for you so you can see. Something like that or rid of that. I might try to do this one. I think it's a little bit cooler. You know what I mean? So um, there you go. Now as far as what I've been doing lately, I've been... Um, I'll take this and I'll put this over that and I'll just trace it with a pencil um, because I can adjust it to what the size I want it and I just keep it there and I just trace it, I just make sure not to touch it I trace it onto this paper, I just make sure not to touch it when I make my finger touch it so it doesn't mess with the, uh, the picture as I'm tracing it so as you can see, watch this see that's pretty cool right? I thought it is so once I get it to the size I want, I only touch it with the pencil. All right, so I don't care. And if it messes up, I just try to get it back to, to what I wanted it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to make this probably about that big. You know, the bigger they like it big, so I probably just do that. All right, there we go. So, all right, follow along. Now, as you can see, it's pretty easy. There you guys see it when I turn the angle. There you got it. Yeah, you see, there to get what I want. I can always just resize it to make it fit where where it was. But I already got the the um, image now. Of course, I'm also I want to add. I'm already a pretty good drawer. So if I get it close to that, what I need to do, I can already just freehand the rest of it. All right, I'm not gonna just send you out there saying that everybody could do it, but. This is a, a method that I, I picked up from um, watching other people and I already could probably freehand draw it so I'm just not an average guy trying to do this so just a, a little backstory and letting you know but um, this, this will help you get a pattern of where you want to go. Alright so follow along. Alright so then I take this design and I find a, a space I want to stick it on while I want to draw. I like to have the most of um, like material that's not gonna that's gonna give it a good nice solid finish so I'll probably stick it on like someplace like about right here you know what I'm saying? That's what I'll probably stick it about right there so and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this out cut the, the outline out so that's the part that I don't want to get painted so I might so I might actually probably put another uh, tape on top of this and use this as like a a goal point you know what I mean um, of what I don't want painted and then I usually just paint the whole shoe you understand so right here follow along right so I'm gonna do the same thing for this one but I'm gonna do another uh, I'm gonna do a totally different um, my focus is off out of focus whatever um, 
here we go. Can y'all see? It's blurry for me. Hold on, guys. Did you get focus? There we go. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing. Just trace another thing and put it on here. All right. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna take this and cut this out. You see, I laid another one so I can have two uh, stencils. I'm gonna have a this actual stencil with some writing on it. I'm gonna have another stencil that's blank. So I'm just gonna cut both of these out. So I can have two of them, inside and outside. Now you see how I cut this one out? I didn't get two. I didn't cut all up in the detail, but I cut out the uh, the major part of it. So I can always just color that in later. So you just save yourself some work to see what tell you what I'm looking for. And then you can see the outside. I'm gonna have this as the, the outside of it. Whatever you'll see when I uh, put it together. All right, as you can see, I use this as a guide to draw this onto the shoe. And I use a sharpie, but I would have used a pencil, but it was hard to go from that uh, that material to the leather, and it wouldn't stick. So I give design. So I took my time and actually um, designed it out. All right, <clears throat> so I use this to do this. Now what I'm working on is this. Hold on, one second, guys. Now I'm outlining this, so I can just cut this out, use this for a stencil, I'm going to put this on top of here, and then I'm going to start start to spray paint the shoe. I'm also putting a little name over there or something, but this is my design, so I'm going to start paint, spray painting the shoe. Okay, now I got taped off what I want to have taped off. I try to keep some part of the shoe, I totally like that bottom part. I'm thinking about adding um, Popeye right here, but I'm going to use a... Uh, um, what is a plotter, a uh, cutter to place the logo over here at an angle or something, something just wild, and then I'm just gonna go from there, okay? All right, right now I got the hot pie covered up, so I'm just gonna really gonna spray it red. All right, guys, you see, I gotta trace this and I outlined it there, so I just took my time and space valued it. Pretty close. Then I go back over it with a, with a sharpie. Then, then, different brought it around like that a little bit. You see with the hair, you can kind of pretty much kind of freestyle it a little bit. When you paint it, it'll come out, you just, you'll see. Alright, so that's how I did that. Alright, so update, guys. So I painted it, I use it with gloves so I can move it around in my hand, make sure I get everything. But make sure it's evenly coated too. Make sure your lighting is good because you can miss spots by bad lighting. So, yeah. Just Alright, just to keep you updated, you see. Sprayed that with gold, I painted that in, hand painted it. I use a, a toothpick and a um, little brush, but just to keep y'all updated and right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the laces in. It's just the left side, well, the right side of the shoe. So, any questions of how I did it? Yeah, oh, just comment below and uh, we'll just find it. Reach me at one of my social medias. Pulled out the stencil, cut the stencil, and put a T4L right there. I'm gonna take the middle of that four and put it in there later, so you'll see it. I'll be back to you guys. I'm gonna use this to touch up. I'm gonna airbrush over spray. I'll just go in through this, use that little tip put it to tighten it up. Alright, I'm not gonna start working on the back work right there. Well, as you can see, I colored it in. I try to use a couple different browns to try to give it some. Um, I brought the hair all the way around there. So, so pretty much took it from the top of there. Give some references. I'm gonna lace it up and then pretty much done. I already uh, put the acrylic sealer to seal it in there. So here we go. Alright, here's a video of everything that's completed. Both shoes. I'll let your boy. Thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel.
take this. Throw that around there like that. All laced up. Please subscribe to the channel if you found this interesting. Thumbs up the video. Holla at your boy. Holla at your Rob Roy. Go check out the website, MikeAndX.com. Alright, alright guys. I might put some links down below. But um yeah, tell me what you what you think, okay? Sure. Yeah, and we out.